Hi, I'm Certified Master Chef Jonathan Moose Miller from ACF Tulsa Chapter, and I'm here today to demonstrate fish fumet. Fish fumet is a very simple stock made from white fish bones, white mirepoix, and some aromats that we use as a base to form a lot of the fish sauces that we use and that we make in the kitchen. We're going to begin to build our fish fumet uh, with a basis of white mirepoix, which is going to have some mushroom trimmings, leeks, celery, and white onion. It's going to have our aromats are going to be the bay leaf, peppercorns, celery or parsley stems, fresh thyme. We're going to access it with, accent it with a little bit of white wine. And then for our bones today, we're going to be using uh, Dover sole bones. You always want to make sure to use a nice, clean white fish bone. Um, you don't want to use any oily type of fish bones or anything else that's going to lead us with an off flavor. You want something that's going to yield a really nice, clean fume for you. So we're going to be begin building the fume. First thing we want to take into consideration is the amount of bones that we have and make sure that we have a pot that's appropriate for that size bones. So here we're doing a limited amount of bones. We have a small pot. We've melted a little bit of whole butter. And we're going to start by adding in our white mirepoix. So we have our sliced onions, our sliced celery, our sliced leeks, and our mushroom trimmings. Notice all of these items in the mirepoix are sliced very thin. It's going to yield very quick cooking. We want to be careful not to cook this with too much heat because we don't want to develop any color on these, on this veg on these vegetables. So we're going to just soften that very gently for a few minutes until everything's just kind of wilted down. Now that we've softened all the vegetables and the whole butter over low heat, notice we haven't developed any color on this. We've just cooked it very nice and slowly. It really helps. It's really starting to let off its, its aromatics. It's really starting to smell really, really nice. We're going to go ahead and add our prepared bones. So these are Dover sole bones that we've cut, soaked in a little bit of cold water. We want to take these and just cook them just gently for just a few minutes. We just want to kind of start seeing the color change on them to a nice bright white. So again, we don't want to develop any color. We want to fish fumet is a very, very delicate process. We want to do it nice and slow and yield a nice, even color. So now that we've allowed those to sweat just briefly, we're going to go ahead and deglaze with just a little bit of white wine. Again, not enough, just barely enough to cover the bottom, enough to develop a little bit of steam. It's going to help pull any of that residual flavor that's off the bottom, that's on the bottom of the pan. And we're going to want to let that reduce. While that's reducing, we're going to add in a sprig of fresh thyme, a couple of parsley stems, a bay leaf, preferably fresh if you have it, and just a couple of peppercorns. And again, I'm going to turn the heat up just a touch so we can get that wine to reduce, being careful not to cook it too hard. And then we're going to go ahead and add our water. We want just enough to just barely cover the bones. Now we want to take the paper cartouche that we folded, press that down on top of the fume, and just gently bring this up to a simmer. Now the, the cartouche is going to help prevent evaporation and also you know, help keep all that flavor inside the stock. I like to cut a little hole in the middle to allow a little bit of evaporation. Well, trying to keep as much of it there. It'll yield a much better stock, you'll yield more stock, and it'll have a much more intense flavor. So as this comes up to a simmer, we want to lower it, and we want just to see a little bit of action, a little bit of bubbling in there. And then we're going to allow this to cook for no more than 30 minutes. Now that our stock is cooked for approximately 30 minutes, we're going to turn off our heat. We're going to gently remove the cartouche. Be careful not to 
here. Now, especially with the fish for me, I like to be very delicate when I strain it to not try to disturb as much of the bones as possible. So we're gonna bring this over to the side. I like to tilt it so I can get the ladle in there and then gently pour it through the chinois that's been lined with a moist, moist piece of cheesecloth. It's gonna help pick up any of the albumin and protein that's in the stock and it's gonna yield us a nice clean fish for me with fantastic flavor. So here we have our finished fish fumet. It's one of the foundations that we use in the classical kitchen, whether we're shallow poaching fish or preparing any of the various sauces that we use to accompany the fish. It's something that every chef should have, be able to display mastery in when going towards certification, especially in regards to the Certified Master Chef's exam.